one person will take the reins and like really build it, build it. And then the rest of the team is like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And I think your product onto Air Amplify, like puts it all in front of somebody in a way that they can understand instead of having to look across all these tables and rows. What's up Airtable enthusiasts? I am really excited to share this video with you because we are starting a series where we are going to be interviewing founders of tools that make Airtable more powerful for you. In this particular interview, we're talking with Dan Fellers. He is the owner and founder over at OpenSide and Onto Air Products. And specifically, he's going to be talking to us about Onto Air Amplify. This is a new product that helps you visualize your data in Airtable in new and unique ways. And so he's going to be showcasing that. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say that this is an edited version of the interview. The full interview was just too long to put an entire video out there. But if you'd like access to the full interview, you can check out Gap Consulting's Mastermind. So I'm going to include a link below in the description of this video so that if you are a member of the Mastermind, you get access to the full interview. Not only this one, but all the future ones that we'll be doing as well. But without further ado, let's just get into the heart of what Dan is sharing with us with Amplify. I'm here with Dan Fellers, founder of OpenSide. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good to be with you, Ali. Excellent. I'm super excited to hear more about On to Air Amplify and all the exciting things you have going on. Um, for everyone who doesn't know, do you want to get into what OpenSide is and a little bit about how you got started? OpenSight.com is our main website that kind of houses all aspects of, of our company. Um, the software side of what we do, which is what we're going to be diving into, is under the brand name Onto Air. So we have a suite of products that, um, that, that we highlight and they cover all different aspects of, of Airtable. Um, forms, automations, backups, scripts. Um, schemas and Amplify, which is the product we're going to be talking about today. So a full suite of products that can help anybody that's really using Airtable to run their business and relying on Airtable as a critical component of their business should be looking at our products as an essential um, part, of, part of that strategy. It's funny. I, when I first started learning Airtable, I kept seeing onto air pop up everywhere. And it really is. It just it gives you that extra layer of functionality that people are really looking for when they are using Airtable to run their business. Yeah, it's been good. We've been, you know, focused. We started as just a Zapier connector, kind of a better connector for for using Zapier with um, with Airtable. And that was pre automation days of, of Airtable and you kind of had to do everything outside of Airtable. And as Airtable has evolved, um, so have we to take advantage of, of Airtable's infrastructure. And so now uh, we're leveraging their automations and their scripting and, and everything of that sort. Absolutely, yeah, it's really exciting to see more options open up inside of Airtable itself. And it's great that they're letting like developers take advantage of that as well. Um, what's that experience been like, like building um, in an like Airtable environment? Yeah, it's been it's been good. I mean, it's definitely um, definitely room for growth on, on their part as they mature, which is happening. But um, you know, I've see I see the potential. I saw it even before they you know, release the ability to, to script or, or their automations. Like I saw the potential, um, having been in the software world for 20 plus years, just knowing what, what the platform could evolve into. And so it's exciting to see them, you know, really capturing that vision of, of what the potential of Airtable is. I think their recent fund, fundraising announcement kind of, um, capitalizes on on that potential and so I'm excited for the future you know I two years ago when I found Airtable or three years ago um, you know I saw the potential and decided to move my my software agency entirely around it just kind of knowing where where it could go and so it's exciting to see that um, coming to fruition. Absolutely I couldn't agree more sounds like you made the right decision. <laughs> Yeah, let's hope so. Still, still got a ways to go. It's still very early for Airtable and for us um, to support that community, but excited for the future. 
Absolutely. Same here. Um, so what was the inspiration behind On to Air Amplify? Like, how'd you get the idea to start building this app? The, the ability for third-party developers to build apps, we kind of knew that that was coming. They had their own suite of apps. And so once I got access to that, I saw the potential of, um, you know, what you could build. And then talking to our customers, kind of getting a sense of like what, what they would like to see. We, we saw a pain point around getting a better view of your data. Um, the views that, that Airtable have are good, you know, your typical um, grids. Um, but some of the, like one of the biggest challenges was if you, you know, anybody that uses Airtable has had the experience where you have a ton of table, a ton of fields and you're constantly scrolling back and forth looking for that field that you need, right? And so you're constantly like, where is that? There's no quick, easy way to jump to a field. And so we kind of had the idea after talking to customers of what if you flip that upside down to where you can have fields going down um, vertically and then have like multiple buckets of groupings of fields that allow a better um, organization of your data. If you want to drill in on just like a per record, because most of the time you're editing data one record at a time. Sometimes you, you, you want to update um, everything and that's where a grid is, is good. But most of the time you're editing one record at a time. And so to have more real estate dedicated to a single record was kind of the, the premise behind um, that. Um, and then from there, it kind of evolved into really being like an ultimate editor of your data. And we have plans to expand it even more and really being a complete, um, a complete environment for, for editing your data and, and having views. So, so a lot, a lot coming. I'm excited to, to showcase um, the next version that, that will be coming out to the marketplace here shortly. Um, a lot of cool stuff there. It's so exciting. I, I really can't wait to see it. And I also like commend you and thank you for making this product because it really <laughs> is a huge help. Um, that is a huge pain, pain point for a ton of Airtable users. And, and I can imagine that it probably helps with like adoptability for like a team as well. Because I think a lot of times one person will take the reins and like really build it, build it. And then the rest of the team is like, I don't know what's going on. and. Yeah. I think your product onto air amplify like puts it all in front of somebody in a way that they can understand instead of having to look across all these tables and rows. All right. So with that, I'll um, dive into our amplify product. So this is like, like I mentioned, um, built into Airtable. So you actually find it through the marketplace, which is great. Um, our other products, are hosted on our website. This one's hosted within Airtable. So you find it just by um, going to the add app. And right now we have a prime location at the top of their um, all app section. So you just click on that, go through the ad process and it will get installed. Um, everybody gets instant access to it. It doesn't, you can trial it for 14 days. Um, you don't even need to enter anything to, to try it out. So it's easy to engage with and play with it to see if it's a fit for your business. Um, so with that, this is our new version. So depending on when people watch this video, it may be live, it may not yet be live. Um, and we've, we've definitely taken things up a notch. So now you can do complete navigation across your entire base all within um, the app. And so now we have this uh, menu system at the top and um, we have kind of some quick links to get to our support pages or how to get started through that menu system. Um, and then here, this shows you where you're located within your, um, within your base. So I'm on the leads table. So this is our example CRM uh, base that we're using. And I'm on the all view. So this shows you your table and your view. And this circle being highlighted means that we're synced with um, Airtable. So what does that mean? That means if I switch 
um, my base over here on the left, then my app is in sync with, with my base. And so it's going to change. So every time you change your table, the, the layout changes. So, so for us, similar to like a view in Airtable, we have layouts. And so you can actually create multiple layouts and layouts are on a per table basis, similar to a view. And what a layout is, is basically just a different set of buckets um, that, that you can display here. And each of these buckets can do um, different things. And so I'll talk about that a little bit. So the cool feature and functionality that we, that we implemented is you can actually unsync yourself from Airtable. So now I'm in unsynced. And so you see the circle is, is no longer highlighted or circled in. Um, and so now I can change my base over here and this doesn't change with it. So this stays independent of where you are. The reason why that's great is now I can go into full screen mode and I can navigate my entire base and switch my tables right here. And my layout will change according to that table. And you can even filter your view as well. So you can actually say, I don't care about a view. I don't wanna filter um, any of my records, which is the default, or you can filter your records based off of views that you've created in Airtable. And so now you can start to see how you can create these buckets um, that have different components. So you could say, you can create a current record bucket that shows five fields and then another one that shows different fields. So you can start to organize your fields based off of similar use cases or needs and, and really start to you know, improve how, how your layout and how you're working with your data based on that. Or you can just easily you know, select them all and then you've got all your fields. So this is similar to like a single record um, layout um, the pop-up view that, that you see there. You can also go into field settings and you can mess around with all of the fields that are visible in here and you can set it as read only. So now it's no longer editable. So when I exit this, this is now read only and I can't make any changes um, to it. So it's not editable or you can make it required. And what happens there um, is now if I delete this, it will highlight this field because it's required now. And so if it's blank, then it gives you a, a visual signal that, that this field um, needs to be populated. Um, you can also set default values for any field. You can set a default value or you can actually increase the font size as well. So if you want something, usually with a, like a, a, a text field, you might want it bigger to make it more, more legible. Um, and so you can increase the font size. I'm blown away, really. This is awesome. <laughs> this is just so cool. Like there's, and I could see you adding on to this and just making it cooler and cooler and cooler with every release too. It's like, there's just like so much potential and like possibilities with this. I, I love it. I have four linked records. So these are coming from a different the, a leads table. So a, a typical uh, linked record. Mm -hmm. This information, these fields are in that linked table. And so this allows me to see the data in the linked record. So usually when you wanna see the data that's coming from uh, the secondary table, you have to add a roll up field or a lookup field. Now you don't need to do that. You can easily just create this linked record um, column and then you just configure it for um, the field that you wanna see. So this will show you only linked um, record fields. And so this table only has one linked record field. And then, you, and then these fields are not, you know, the sales rep table, these are the leads table fields and you can specify which fields you wanna see within there. And then this works the same way as what I showed here. So I won't go through it in detail, but the cool thing is, is you can actually navigate through all of the linked records just through that. So you can either navigate with the arrows or within this search. So this shows me for this record that I'm looking at, 
Um, these are the link, the four linked records that are in there and I can easily jump to any of them and see the information about them. All right, well, hopefully that has inspired you to go check out Onto Air Amplify and you can see new and unique ways that you can use this tool to get more out of Airtable. If you're interested in checking out the full interview, again, you need to be a member of our mastermind group, but I will include a link below where you can sign up and get access to that. So if that's of interest, do check the links that I'll include in the description. And with that, we're gonna sign this one off.